What's going on everyone, I'm Alex and this is my review of the Samsung Galaxy Ace 2X. This device is very cheap, costs about $80, so it's an entry level device. This uh, device has a 4 inch display, it's a VGA display, so not the best viewing angles. Has a resolution of 480 by 800 comes with the Android 4.0 and has a processor that's clocked at 1 GHz. It's also a single core processor, so not the fastest out there. It has 4 gigs of internal storage and 750 MB of uh, RAM, so not the best. The rear camera is a 5 megapixel sensor, which I found that takes uh, decent pictures. Let's take a closer look at the phone. So on the back uh, here, it's not very slippery, it's uh, made of a hard plastic, however, uh, looks decent. The only thing I don't like that the color on the back doesn't match uh, the frame here. So we have the 5 megapixel camera, we have the rear speaker, we have the flash, the Samsung logo. At the bottom here, uh, we just have the microphone and the charging port. On this side, we have the volume buttons. On the top here we have the 3.5mm audio jack and on this side we have the power button and this is where you put the micro SD, so like a memory card. It's uh, pretty good that it takes memory cards considering that uh, the device only has 4 gigs of internal storage. On the front we have the camera here, the front facing camera, the proximity sensor and the light sensor, the speaker and the Samsung logo. And at the bottom here uh, we have the home button, the menu button and the return button. Let's take a look behind the rear cover. So behind the rear cover we see the battery, it's a 1500 mAh battery. It's uh, not that bad, with the moderate usage you can probably make it through an entire day. I was able to get about one and a half uh, hours of screen time. So it's not the best, uh, but I use the phone a lot. But with moderate usage you should probably be able to go through an entire day. This is where the SIM card goes. This is the connector for the battery. On the back here we have the IMEI. This uh, looks a bit unfinished unfortunately. However, other than that uh, the phone doesn't feel very bad. Considering this is a $80 device. I'll put the cover back and let's power on the device so you can see the boot animation. Here you can see the model number and of course the Samsung uh, brand right there. And here we have the Samsung logo and the boot up logo. And it takes a second to start up. This is a very slow device unfortunately, it is very cheap but it is uh, pretty slow. I'll give it a second to actually start up. So uh, here we have it. The touch is uh, it's a bit heavy on it unfortunately and I believe that that's the reason why the phone is so slow. You will see everything takes quite a while and uh, it's not that smooth. If we go into about device we are going to see the software information. So Android 4.0.4 which is uh, ice cream. I did get an update uh, yesterday, it was a 10 megabyte update, I'm not sure what it was, probably a security update. If we go into languages and input, we can see all the languages supported by this uh, device. So um, there are only three languages right here, English, French and some Mandarin or something. If we go into storage, we're gonna see that uh, all we have left is about 2 gigs of space. I have a few apps installed, but uh, you don't get too much space out of the 4 gigs that the device has, uh, two are taken by the system, the operating system. Next I'll show you the multi-touch uh, test. So you can touch the screen in 5 places at the same time and uh, they will register, so it's pretty good. I mean, uh, for a cheap device uh, that has 5 uh, touch places, it's pretty good. 
The Antutu benchmark, uh, it's pretty horrible. It's about 7000. But considering how uh, low this uh, the processor uh, in this device is, uh, it's pretty normal. Here we can see some information about the device. That's the processor right there. The screen resolution. The rear camera, I'm not sure why it says 3.1 uh, megapixels, it's supposed to be 5. That's uh, the RAM that we have available. For the GPS test I moved closer to the window, but uh, it takes a bit to go actually find the satellites and get a fix. It is a bit better outside, but uh, it still takes a bit. Once it gets a fix, uh, Google Maps and everything else works really good. And almost there. And it actually got a fix. The CPU Z uh, will basically show us the same information that we've seen uh, in Antutu. So we see how many cores the processor has, uh, the speed that it runs at. So nothing, uh, nothing special. The screen size, uh, it's definitely wrong out here. Next, I'll show the sensor box. So uh, this device supports quite a bit of, uh, quite a few sensors. It's pretty good considering how cheap the device is. The proximity sensor works pretty good. This is definitely mostly used uh, while making phone calls. So when you get close to the screen, uh, the screen will turn off. And as you can see, it works fine. Next I'll turn up the brightness all the way so you can actually see the viewing angles of the screen. So it's not, uh, not too bad. There is light pointing at the device so uh, you can see exactly how it actually looks. But it's better than other devices uh, that have a VGA screen. I'll turn down the brightness. Next I'll show you how the rear speaker sounds. So I'll just go to sound here and uh, play a couple of uh So not the loudest and a bit distorted but uh, keep in mind this is a very cheap device. So you can't expect that uh, that much from it. Next I want to do a Bluetooth uh, test. So I'm going to connect this, uh, this Bluetooth speaker to it. This is the first time it uh, connects to this device. Hopefully it can connect. And it's connected. And now I'll go uh, back and play a couple of uh, ringtones. So it uh, does work okay. Next I'll open Chrome and uh, open a couple of web pages so you can see how it uh, does that. It is a bit slow. So I'll open the Globe and Mail. 
and I'll just open a random article as you can see it's a bit uh, laggy it randomly does things by itself however after the page loads uh, you can kind of zoom in and out it's not very smooth but uh, it does work ok I'll uh, open YouTube next So everything takes a while, I mean if you're used to a much faster phone uh, you're gonna have uh, a hard time using this one. I'll just play on my, one of my videos. The sound started but not the actual uh, video. And the screen resolution uh, So this is the maximum quality that you're gonna be able to see on this device As you can see everything is very very slow Next I'll show the camera is a bit slow till it opens. I found it takes uh, decent pictures actually, even though it takes a bit to focus and uh, stuff, but it does take uh, decent pictures. These are a few pictures that I took with the device. You can also check out the link in the video's description and uh, you can see all the pictures that I took as sample pictures, and there is also gonna be a video that I took with this device. So again, it's taking quite a bit of time to actually open anything. So all these are uh, taken with the device. As you can see, there is quite a bit of detail uh, in the pictures. So the camera is quite decent, however, uh, if there isn't enough light, uh, it cannot focus at all. I'm gonna close all the apps uh, running in the background and I'm gonna attempt to play a couple of games so you can see how it does that so I'll uh, try Beach Buggy first it will take a bit to actually load this device would be much much better without the Samsung statues on it but uh, that's just too heavy for this device the bluetooth speaker is still connected It is a bit laggish, I turn and it turns a second after, so not uh, the fastest or smoothest uh, gameplay. So I would definitely not choose this device uh, for playing games. And I'll try another one, I'll try Temple Run. Again, will take a second or so to load. I 
and it's still loading I haven't tried this game before so I'm not sure if it's actually gonna start or not hopefully it will and it looks like it's gonna start again very very slow The sound on the Bluetooth speaker it's a bit off, uh, I'm not sure if you can actually hear it. But it seems like a second uh, behind or so. This game seems a bit better than uh, the other one. So there you have it. This is the Samsung Galaxy Ace 2X. So it's a very very slow device, I mean... Uh, it depends what you're gonna do with it, if you just uh, buy it to make phone calls and uh, send text messages it's probably gonna be good enough, otherwise I would definitely spend a bit more money and uh, get something faster. Thanks for watching and don't forget to subscribe.